So one of the things that we've been discussing, because it's clearly so present in this movie, um, is the uh, this whole issue of school shootings and the ubiquity with which this is starting to happen and the horror. And, and it is a little surreal. One of the concerns I had approaching this script was when you're dealing with something that is so topical and so uh, horrifying, you know, you, you want to walk that fine line of addressing the issue, but not glorifying it in any way, not fetishizing it in any way. And you just have faith that in the right context, it will tell the right story and and be an agent of some kind of social discussion, if nothing else. And uh, But I think it's just become so horrifying that we live in this world where somebody who is troubled, like Jacob, would have access to guns. And I think that's, that's the, for Abby, her biggest fear is not so much her own safety. I think the thing that actually sort of flips a switch in her is this deep fear that he could hurt someone else and hurt a lot of other people. And one of the things that really first drew me to the script is you instantly know exactly. where you are and what is happening and, and what the stakes are and like, what the, I think yeah. that is like very present to everybody of like oh this isn't some fantasy this is a very real life yeah. terror that yeah. we're all actually living with on a day-to-day -day basis because of the saturation of gun violence in this country yeah that's the shadow lurking in the corner right and that provides that creeping sense of dread in this film which i think is Great. I mean, I think it's important to acknowledge that we're all living with that shadow in the corner. Whether we live with a Jacob or not, are our children's classmates, you know, a Jacob. And in line with that, as we've, we've witnessed the unfolding of more shootings, there was a shooting in Florida just yesterday. And, one, and then all these details are coming out that actually are borne out in our movie long before, I mean, and we're in the script long before this ever happened. Jacob has a gas mask. He has... Um, racist leanings, um, supremacist leanings, like there, there are all these, and, and Abby even goes through and at one point in the film, like here, here are the markers, here are the signs, they're out there, keep watch, and you know, all of Jacob's increasing behavior is again, kind of building toward this crescendo, but what's amazing and what's a little disturbing is just how in line with um, reality this film is. It's been pretty shocking. I don't yeah. know that. I mean, I mean, we started rehearsing and working on this in full force right at the beginning of January, and we're forty-five days into twenty eighteen, and there's been eighteen school shootings since then. It's like the the reality of that was just like it was almost every like every two three days we would someone would mention another one while we were on set. And you know, what's what's sort of disturbing about that is any other time in history where you had a project, like let's say you were talking about a terrorist bomb in Manhattan and then 9-11 happens, you would not be able to release that movie. It would be too close to home. But I think the ubiquity of this, it, it's almost like a movie like this has to come yeah, out. It's because demanded. It's, it's demanded. It's like this is not a one-off where we're glorifying something. This is a pervasive social crisis that we as Americans are in the middle of. And so, you know, it's, it's just an interesting time to be telling this story. Hopefully it has some impact.